Elite Arts Council. I'm your host and instructor, Erica Wajardo, and today we're going to be learning about Mola folk art. What is Mola folk art, you ask? Well, in ancient times, it was geometric patterns that were painted on the bodies of the Kuna indigenous tribe from Panama. Once the Spanish came to Panama, they introduced fabric and what was known as body art now transformed to textile art. This art was known as reversed applique and it originated about 150 to 170 years ago. Although the traditional geometric patterns of body art still are in contemporary kuna today. In the past 50 years, the kuna have depicted realistic and abstract motifs to illustrate flowers, animals, and humans. These are known as living history books and show many hidden patterns such as medical plants, protective symbols, and legends and stories. The typical colors that you'll find in a Mola folk art piece are burgundy, orange, and black. These are colors that were originally used in body painting and came from vegetables. As in many stories in history, there are good things and bad things that happen to people. And for the Kuna tribe, in the early 20th century, the government tried to disband the culture and banned them from using not only their language, but their traditional garb. In 1925, the Panamanian government had to make a concession to give the Kuna people the right to govern their own territory. This was a victory for the women of Kuna because they were able to continue to teach their traditions and wear their traditional dresses and blouses, which represented the Mola folk art design on the front and the back. They would also wear black and blue skirts with orange and red headscarves. Today, we're looking to look further into this type of culture and see what it takes to actually create a Mola with the use of felt, we're going to recreate something that possibly we could hang on our wall. If you're working with younger children, that felt is a little bit too hard to use, then consider construction paper. So, if you're ready to get started, so am I.
Well, did you learn a lot? I know I did. And I hope that you created something that you really enjoyed and you can hang on your wall. Well, just as a reminder, I'm gonna be stepping away from the camera for the rest of September. And I'm gonna leave you in the hands of graphic digital artist, Joe Kadena and Lilia Estrada, who is known for her elementary basics type of artwork. So, until we see each other again, stay safe and see you later.